created a kinder, gentler society. And not disconnected to that is the second largest nonprofit sector in the world. So we have a civic network in Canada that is such an accomplishment since way back 40s, 50s organizing. It is a treasure globally and we need to understand what it looks like in a technological age of you know, governments under you know, fiscal threat, a uh, different kind of global economy. We really need to understand what that is and what the mechanisms are that allow this richness. I, I finished a presentation at a university in, in Pueblo there, and the, the head of the university came up and kind of engulfed my, my hand and he said, what we don't have in Mexico is what you described. Your mother made you volunteer when you were 12, right? We don't have that tradition in, in Mexico. If most Canadians have no idea the value of what we have, and I went home to my mom, has worked her entire life in um, services to developmentally delayed children, who made me volunteer, and long before she as a housewife could have a job, was deeply involved in the church and you know, looking out for, for folks. And I said to my mom, I told the story in Mexico about the nonprofit sector, and I told a story about you. And she said, what are you talking about, dear? What's this nonprofit sector? Like, what is it? She's had a career in the nonprofit sector. She owes her livelihood right now to a nonprofit uh, housing unit. And I could not see the wealth of what she had participated in.